Brothers and sisters, this is the God here in Cleveland. Yes, sir. Good yeah. to see you today. Amen. All right, so we're going to start this day off by reading the law. We're going to start this in Exodus 20. Yes, sir. Verse 1. You go ahead and read. And God spake all these words, saying, I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. Yes, Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them nor serve them. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers unto the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. And showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. Mm -hmm. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain, for the Lord will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. Mm -hmm. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Uh -huh. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work, <clears throat> but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. Yes, sir. In it thou shalt not do any work, thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter. Thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. But in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that in them is, and rested the seventh day. Wherefore, the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Uh -huh. Thou shalt not kill. Yes, sir. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife, nor his manservant, nor his maidservant, nor his ox, nor his ass, nor anything that is thy neighbor's. Yes, sir. And Lord, have a blessing and read his word in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, let's go over to Ecclesiastes chapter 12. We're going to read 13 and 14. Yes, sir. We need to Ecclesiastes chapter 12. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Yes, sir. Fear God and keep his commandments. Mm -hmm. For this is the whole duty of man. Yes, sir. For God shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, let's go over to Revelation 22. We're going to read 14 and 15. Yes, sir. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life, and may enter in through the gates into the city. For without are dogs and sorcerers and whoremongers and murderers and idolaters and whosoever loveth, and make it the law. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We do this everywhere. At this little job, we read the law just like they used to do in the old days. Yes, sir. And so we bring that tradition back uh, because every Sabbath, uh, the law was read to the people. All right. Yes, sir. So today, well, I'm Brother Patrick. First of all, I'm Brother Patrick here. Uh, read for me here, Brother Wallace. And, uh, yeah. and today, we are going to talk about some things here. So there's been a lot of stuff in the news uh, about um, there's been people like Kanye West and Kyrie Irving. Yeah. Um, Kyrie Irving um, uh, posted uh, the link to a documentary about the Negroes to Hebrews. Uh, Hebrews to Negroes, rather. And then uh, uh, Kanye West, you know, saying that we were children of Israel, that black people are the children of Israel. Yeah. And it's not just them, though. I mean, okay. in recent years, it's happened a lot. You know, uh, Kendrick Lamar said yes. it in some oh, yeah. of his music. Right. Uh, and, Nick, Nick Cannon yeah. said it on his thing. Um, yeah, Fantasia even was talking about it. But we see that it's getting talked about a lot. Yes. And why? Why is it being talked about a lot? This is what we want to see. Mm -hmm. And is there any validity to it? 
what they're saying? Uh, is it true? Is it not true? Uh, why does it even matter? Who the children of Israel are? So the title of this lesson is, Who is Israel? And why is it important to know? Who is Israel? And why is it important to know? Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to tackle why is it important to know? Why does it even matter who Israel is yes. to us? Because a lot of churches, the teachers, these Sunday churches will teach you that it doesn't matter who Israel is because everybody is under Christ's blood and, and that's that's it. Right. right? But we're going to go through the scriptures and see what they say about uh, Israel and see if uh, if it is indeed, in fact, important to know who they are. Yes, sir. Right? So we're going to look, all right? So we're going to start this off in Acts chapter 7. Acts chapter 7. <clears throat> and we are going to start at verse 36. Acts chapter 7. Acts chapter 7. And verse 36. Now this is Stephen talking about uh, He's, uh, he's giving a rundown of Israel's history to uh, to the Pharisees and stuff. Uh, they thought he didn't know what he was talking about, but he ran it down for them. So we're just going to read a little bit of what he was talking about. Uh, 36, go ahead, read, bro. And he brought them out after that he had showed wonders and signs of the land of Egypt uh -huh. and in the Red Sea and in the wilderness 40 years. So he's talking about when God brought Israel out of Egypt, all right? This is that Moses which said unto the children of Israel, yes, sir. A prophet shall the Lord your God raise up unto you of your brother, like unto me, him shall ye hear. Yes, sir. This is he that was in the church in the wilderness. So the church started in the wilderness, yes, sir, with the Israelites when Moses brought them out of Egypt. All right. So the church didn't start in Acts, like they say. Mm -hmm. With the angel which spake to him in the Mount Sinai, mm -hmm. and with our fathers who received the lively oracles to give unto us, uh -huh. to whom our fathers would not obey, yes. but thrust him out from them, yes, sir. and in their hearts turned back again into Egypt. Uh -huh. So this, he was the Moses on Mount Sinai who was given the lively oracles to give to us, right? Yes. But remember this, uh, but they thrust them from them, and in their hearts, they turn back to Egypt. Now, just keep that in the back of your mind. We're going to uh, see what's going on here. Let's go over to Romans chapter 3. Well, let's look at this up first. The oracles said they gave us the lively oracles for us to, for us, right? Mm -hmm. Oracles, according to Webster's Dictionary, is the answer or decision. Divine communication or revelation mm. from dictionary.com. Yes. Right, that's what yes. oracles mean. Oracles. Okay. Yes, sir. So Moses was given the divine answers in order to give unto, unto the children of Israel, right? So mm -hmm. that's what we see. So let's go over to Romans chapter 3. Romans chapter 3. We got a lot of scripts to get to today, but if we're going to run through them. Yes, sir. Because they are important. <clears throat> All right, Romans chapter 3, we're going to start at verse 1. Go ahead, read. What advantage then hath the Jew? Now, this is Paul talking. He said, What advantage has the Jew or the Israelite? They call all the Israelites Jews at that time because they lived in Judea at that time. Uh, and so they just called them Jews. But there was many, there was a couple of tribes there. But he said, What advantage has the Israelite? Right? Go ahead. Or what prophet is there of circumcision? What prophet? They were also the Israelites were also called the children of the circumcision. All right. So when it talks about uh, the, those of the circumcision, it's talking about Israelites. All right. Go ahead. Much every way. Much every way. So what what advantage have they had? What what profit in them? Much every way. Right. What? Cheap, cheaply, because that unto them were committed the oracles of God. Uh -huh. So unto Israel was committed the answers of God, right? right? Right. So that's one reason why 
we might want to know who they are because they were given the answers, right? Directly from God's mouth, well, to Moses, and Moses gave it to him, well, God tried to give him to him directly from his mouth, but he got scared. He said, Moses, go up there and, and, and right, get the answers right. for us. You know? right. Yes, sir. Right. But this is straight from God's mouth. The answers, right? All right. So let's go over to Romans chapter 9. We're going to start that at verse 1. Romans chapter 9 and 1. Go ahead. I say the truth in Christ. Mm -hmm. I lie not. My conscience also bearing the witness in the Holy Ghost. Uh -huh. So this is Paul. He's talking to you. Go ahead. That I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. For I could wish that myself were a curse from Christ for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. So he's talking about Israel. He's talking about physical Israel, children of circumcision, right? Yes. Go ahead. Who are Israelites. Who are Israelites. To whom pertaineth. Okay. okay. To whom pertaineth what? The adoption. The adoption, Maybe. right? Yes, sir. What else? And the glory. And the glory. And the covenants. Uh -huh. And the covenants. And the giving of the law. And the giving of the law. And the service of God. And, and the service of God. The promises. And the promises. Oh. Right? This is what pertains to the Israelites, right? Yes. Yes. The adoption, yes. the glory, the covenants, the giving of the law, the service of God, mm -hmm. and yes. the promises. Yes, sir. Wow. Should we know who these people are? If yes. they were given right. all of this stuff? Right. Yes, sir. <laughs> we should. Keep on reading. Yes, sir. Right. Whose are the fathers, and of whom, as concerning the flesh, Christ came? So Israel is who Christ came for. Yes. Okay. Yeah. This is why he came here. What should we know who who these yes. people are? Right. Yes. Right. Yes. right. These people are, are yes. important in some kind of way because they was given the answers of God mm -hmm. and they was given all of these things, the covenant, mm -hmm. given under the law, the service of God, the promises, and Israel is who Christ came for. Yes. Yes. Right? Yes. Sir. All right. All right. Good. Did we finish that? No. Go ahead. Who is over all? God bless forever. Amen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's go over to uh, St. John chapter 4. Now, I could just end it right there and be like, they was given everything. That's it. That's why we should know. St. Mm -hmm. John chapter 4. But we're going to keep going on. We're going to show a few more things so that we know definitely why we should know this. Yes, sir. Why are no preachers teaching this in that church right now? You know? St. John chapter 4, and we're going to start at verse 5. Chapter 4 and verse 1. You know what? Start at verse 1. Okay. St. John chapter 4 and verse 1. Go ahead. When therefore the Lord knew the Pharisees had heard that Jesus made and baptized more disciples than John. Uh -huh. Though Jesus himself baptized not but his disciples, yes, sir. he left Judea and departed again into Galilee. Mm -hmm. And he must needs go through Samaria. So he had to go through some Jesus, Jesus and the disciples had to go through Samaria. Uh -huh. Then cometh he to a city of Samaria, which is called Sakar, mm -hmm. near to the parcel of ground that Jacob gave to his son Joseph. Now Jacob's well was there. Jesus, therefore, being weary with his journey, sat thus on the well, uh -huh. and it was about the sixth hour. So about the sixth hour, around 11-ish, 11, 11 mm -hmm. 11 a.m. All right. There cometh a woman of Samaria to draw water. Jesus saith unto her, Give me to drink. Uh -huh. For his disciples were gone away unto the city to buy me. Uh, so he, he, was, he was thirsty, he wanted some water, he asked the woman to give him some water. But well, he didn't ask, he actually told her. But <laughs> he said, give me the drink. All right. He was thirsty. Right. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Right. Then saith the woman of Samaria unto him, who is it that thou being a Jew uh -huh. ask drink of me? Uh -huh. What which am a woman of Samaria? Uh -huh. For the Jews have no dealings with the Samaritans. So, so the Jews didn't have any dealings with some with the Samaritans, even though the Samaritans kind of kept some of the stuff that they kept. Mm -hmm. But the Samaritans were not Israelites. They the Samaritans were 
uh, uh, part of the Babylonian Empire who, when uh, Israel was, was taken out, when uh, the ten tribes were taken out, uh, he took them out of the land and he put in these people in, the, in Samaria. So these people are not the original people who were in the land. That's why Israel didn't have any dealings with them. Right? Keep reading. The woman said unto him, Sir, I perceive that thou art a prophet. Verse 20. Amen. Which just read? 19. 19? Okay. Yes, sir. I'm sorry. Okay. Skip down to 19. Go ahead. Okay. Read 19. All right. The woman saith unto him, Sir, I perceive that thou art a prophet. Uh huh. Our fathers worshiped in this mountain, and ye say that in Jerusalem is the place where men ought to worship. Yes, sir. Jesus said unto her, uh -huh. now, in between this, mm -hmm. he had he had told her that uh, the, the water that you're going to get, you know, you're going to thirst again. But if you listen to me, I will give you waters that will spring into eternal life, right? Yes. And then she said, I perceive that you are a prophet, right? Mm -hmm. Amen. Keep reading. Woman, believe me, the hour coming when ye shall neither in this mountain nor yet at Jerusalem worship the Father. Yes, sir. Ye worship, ye know not what. Uh huh. So you guys do this stuff, but you don't even know what you worship, right? Mm -hmm. What's that? So we know what we worship. Uh huh. For salvation is of the Jews. Salvation is yeah. of the Jews of Israel. Mm -hmm. Now this is out of Jesus' mouth, His own mouth, saying that salvation is of the Jews. Yes. Should we not know who these people are today if salvation is of them? Mm -hmm. Right. We should, and yet we don't, and nobody teaches that we should, right? Mm -hmm. We're going to add some more stuff on here, though, right. because it's not just for, for them. Let's go over to Ephesians. Ephesians chapter 2. Mm -hmm. It's starting to look like these people are pretty important. Yes, sir. And these people had a direct contact with God mm -hmm. that Jesus knew uh, that Jesus was one of them, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And that uh, he said salvation is up. Mm -hmm. So here we got promises, we got covenants, we got everything given to these people, and yet we don't know who these people are. Well, mm -hmm. we say we know who these people are. Mm -hmm. We're going to show you today what it really is. Where we are. Ephesians chapter 2, we're going to start at verse 11. Mm -hmm. Ephesians chapter 2 and 11, go ahead and read. Wherefore, remember that ye being time past Gentiles in the flesh. So this is talking about, Paul is talking to Gentiles, right? People who are not part of the Israelites, right? Mm -hmm. And this is just not, this just not goes for the Gentiles. It goes for anybody else but keep on reading who are called uncircumcision uh -huh. by that which is called the circumcision uh -huh. in the flesh made by hands uh -huh. so whoever is not part of israel they call them the uncircumcision and of course israel is the children of the circumcision yes sir. okay that at that time ye were without christ uh, at that time you were without christ being aliens from the commonwealth of israel so they were not part of the commonwealth of Israel or Israelites, they weren't part of what Israel was doing. They said, but they were, they were aliens and not part of the commonwealth of Israel. Keep reading. And strangers uh -huh. from the covenant of promise. They were strangers from the covenant of promise because the covenant was given and the promises was given to Israel. That's right. Okay. Keep and having no hope uh -huh. and without God in the world. So they didn't know. They didn't know God. Mm -hmm. Right. Yes. Keep reading. But now in Christ Jesus. Ye who sometimes were far off are made nigh by the blood of Christ. Yes, sir. For he is our peace mm -hmm. who have made both one and have broken down the middle wall of partition between so us. Christ has broke, broken down the middle wall of partition between the Gentiles and Israel. Mm -hmm. But not just the Gentiles, all the other nations too. Mm -hmm. Right? Skip on down to, to 19. Read that. Now, therefore, Ye are no more strangers uh -huh. and foreigners, uh -huh. but fellow citizens with the saints uh -huh. and of the household of God. So in order to be part of the household of God, you have to become part of the commonwealth of Israel. Israel. Right? Yes, sir. 
and then you will be considered not strangers anymore, but fellow citizens with the saints. So the saints is Israel, mm -hmm. right? So we should know who these people are because we have to become part of their commonwealth and find out what they are doing in order for us to get our piece of the kingdom of God. All yes, right. Sir, right? Yes, sir. These people are looking more and more important. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. More important <laughs> as we read, yes, right? We read. All right. That's right. Yes, sir. So let's let's go over to Exodus 19. Exodus 19. We're going to start at verse 1. Exodus 19 and 1. In the third month, when the children of Israel were going forth out of the land of Egypt, uh -huh. the same day came they into the wilderness of Sinai. So this is what Stephen was talking about, what we just read over there. Uh -huh. For they were departed from Rephidim uh -huh. and were come to the desert of Sinai uh -huh. and had pitched in the uh -huh. wilderness and there Israel camped before the mount. Yes, sir. So they camped before the mount Sinai. Okay. Mm -hmm. And Moses went up into unto God, and the Lord called unto him out of the mountain, saying, Thus shall thou say to the house of Jacob, and tell the children of Israel, Yes, sir. Ye have seen what I did unto the Egyptians, mm -hmm. and how I bear you on eagles' wings, and brought you into myself. Yes, sir. Now, therefore, if ye will obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant. So this is the covenant. He said, if you will obey my voice and keep my covenant, uh -huh. then ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me uh -huh. above all people. Above some people. Oh, above man. all people. You'll be, uh, you, if you keep this covenant, you'll be a peculiar treasure unto me yes. above all people. Uh -huh. Yes. Keep reading. Okay. And, and ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests. And you shall be unto me a kingdom of priests. And a holy nation. A holy nation, uh-huh. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. So the Israelites are, if they keep the covenant, are a kingdom of priests. <laughs> yes, right? sir. Yes, sir. And a holy nation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? That's right. why right. these other nations have to come unto Israel. Because the Lord set it up that way. Yes, sir. Right? Amen. So, Amen. as we keep reading, we keep finding out more and more reasons why these people are important or important to know who they are. They are a holy nation. They are a peculiar people unto the Lord. They're special unto God. Yes, sir. Should we know who those people are? Yeah. Oh, God, you should be treating the people nice. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You know, just like. That's like my son, you know. They yeah. don't they don't know that's my son out there, you know. Right. But they better treat him nice. They better right. treat him nice. Because when I come around, that's you know, right. if they're not treating him right, that's right. Uh, uh, I got some fault. That's, that's, right. Right. that's right. right. You got that right. All right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go over to Deuteronomy chapter four. Mm -hmm. More and more, these people are important people. Yes, they are. They're not self important. Just important to know if you want to know God. Mm. Right, right, right. right. Okay. Deuteronomy chapter 4, we're going to start at verse 1, then we're going to skip. Deuteronomy 4. And 1. Go ahead, read. Now, therefore, hearken, O Israel, uh -huh. unto the statutes, unto the oracles, uh -huh. unto the judgments, uh -huh. which I teach you. For to do them, that ye may live and go and possess the land which the Lord God of your fathers have Father given to you. Uh -huh. Let's give down five. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, uh -huh. even as the Lord my God commanded me. Yes, sir. That ye should do so in the land, whether ye go to possess it. Uh -huh. So he has taught them the statutes and commandments, even as the Lord commanded him. Uh-huh. Keep therefore and do them, uh -huh. for this is your wisdom uh -huh. and your understanding yes, in sir. the sight of the nations. So these commandments, these oracles that he gave them, is wisdom. Yes. It's God's wisdom. Mm 
right. And so when we see these people, whoever these people are, when we see them and they tell us about these commandments, yeah. we should be like, dang. <laughs> yes. yes. Right? Okay. This is your wisdom and your knowledge and your understanding in the sight of all the nations. Everybody should be looking for this. Yes. Right. We're looking for these people. Right. You read? Which shall hear all these statutes uh -huh. and say, Surely this great <laughs> nation is a wise and understanding people. Uh -huh. For what nation is there so great who have God so nigh unto them no, as the Lord? No other nation has God. That God is nigh unto them, near to them, yeah. except for Israel. Right. Uh -huh. As the Lord our God is in all things that we call upon him for. Mm -hmm. And what nation is there so great that has statutes and judgments so righteous as all of this law, which I set before you this day? No other nation has these laws that, that he set before them today. Mm -hmm. He only gave them to Israel. Israel. Right? Yes, sir. Let's keep on down to uh, 33. Yes, sir. Go ahead, read. Did ever people hear the voice of God speaking out of the midst of the fire as thou hast heard uh, and lived? Uh -huh. this, is the, this is when they were at the base of Mount Sinai and the Lord spoke to them and they got scared and they had Moses go up there. But he spoke to them. They heard him. Yes, right? Man. And he, this, these are the only people who have ever he never talked to. Right. Keep on reading. Or have God essayed to go and take him a nation from the midst of another nation uh -huh. by temptations, by signs, and by wonders, and by war, and by a mighty hand, and by a stretched out arm, mm -hmm. and by great terrors according to all that the Lord your God did for you in Egypt before your eyes. Uh -huh. He has never done that for anybody else except for Israel to take them out of a nation by force yes. and show that nation that he is God. Wow. Right? Keep reading. Unto thee it was shown that thou mightest know that the Lord he is God. Uh -huh. There is none else beside him. Yes, sir. Out of heaven he made thee to hear his voice yes, that he might instruct thee uh -huh. and upon earth he showed thee his great fire and thou heardest his words out of the midst of the fire. Yes, sir. And because he loved thy fathers. And because God loved father. their fathers. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Therefore, he chose their seed after them. So, so the people the people who are related to them after them, he chose them. Uh -huh. too, right? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And brought thee out in his sight with his mighty power out of Egypt. Uh -huh. So it's not just those people. It's those, their descendants, right? Mm -hmm. He chose them also. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't just the people who, who got, who was right there when he gave the law. It was the people who passed on the law to their descendants and their descendants and their descendants. Right? Yes, sir. All right. Let's go over to Amos. It's so little. Amos is so little. Find it over there. It's like two books behind Daniel. Two, three books behind Daniel. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Amos, you know, starting chapter two. Yes, sir. Amos chapter two and ten. Amos chapter two. And 10. Amos 2 and 10. Mm -hmm. I said it would be the turkey. Yes, sir. And go ahead, read. Also, I brought you up from the land of Egypt uh -huh. and led you 40 years through the wilderness mm -hmm. to possess the land of the Amorite. Uh -huh. And I raised you up, your sons, for prophets. And I raised you up among the prophets. Said I raised up of your sons for prophets. For prophets. I raised up your sons for prophets, right? Israel. Uh -huh. Yet have ye not returned unto me, saith the Lord. Now read 11 again. Read 11 again. And I raised up your sons for the prophet. Uh -huh. okay. 
and of your young men uh -huh. for Nazarites. Yes, sir. Is it not even thus, O ye children of Israel, uh -huh. saith the Lord? So he raised up Israel's sons for prophets, and Israel's young men for Nazarites. Yes. Not any other nation. Yeah. So all the prophets in the book were Israelites. Hey. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes. Mm -hmm. So, and we just read that he didn't just choose them. He chose their descendants after that, right? Yeah. Yeah. So we we should know who these yes. people are. Yes. We right. should really know who these right. people are. Right. They seem yes, really important mm -hmm. to know, you know? Right. Sir. So we'll go over to Amos chapter 3. And start at verse 1. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. Now, he's is the, the Lord is Israel's father, too. So, you know, when Israel messes up, he got to put the spanking on. All right? <laughs> so, so you're going to hear a lot in this book how he speaks against Israel, you know, and does things to them, you know, when yes. they don't yes. keep the covenant that they promised to keep with him. Uh -huh. Keep on. Against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, uh -huh. saying, you only have I known of all the families oh. of the earth. You only have I known oh. from all the families of the earth. Wow. Right. God only knew Israel. He's yes. only dealt with Israel. He gave Israel his laws, his statutes, yes. or the lively yes. oracles. Mm -hmm. They to, to them pertains the adoption, the service of God, mm -hmm. and that's who Christ came for. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Right? Yes. And they are the only people who God has known on this earth. Uh -huh. right? So all these other people who say that they know God, they really don't. <laughs> Unless they know it's Israel. Right. Right. Unless they're okay, part right. of right. Israel, yes. part right. of the commonwealth of Israel. Okay. That's right. Right. Yes, sir. Right? These okay. people are an important people to know. Yes, because right. it looks like they got the, 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 the answers yes. that we need in order right. to, to be with the, the, the true and living God. Right, right. Yes, sir. Where are we at? Therefore, mm -hmm. I will punish you for all your iniquities. See, there, there's a catch there, too. Because he knew us. <laughs> because he knew us. Right. He's going to punish us for right. everything that we do, too. Right? That's right. That's right. That's Skip right. down seven. Read that. Surely the Lord God will do nothing, uh -huh. but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. So he will re reveal, reveal his service, uh, reveal his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. Yes, and sir. Whose children did he raise up as prophets? The children of Israel. 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 Right. Yes, sir. So he's going to reveal his secrets unto Israel. Amen. So we should know who these people are. We got to, we got to find out. <laughs> we really do have to find out. Yes, sir. We just gonna, we gonna read a little more though because we want to make absolutely sure that we need you know that these people are, mm -hmm. are important people and you know we need to know who they are. Right. Yes, because sir. so many people you know write them off you know as somebody who we really we really don't need. We got Jesus now. We really we don't need Israel. Right. right. Yeah. Let's go to Exodus chapter four. Sir. This is chapter four. We're gonna start at verse <coughs> twenty-one. Four and twenty-one. Exodus four and twenty-one. And the Lord said unto Moses, When thou goest to return into Egypt, see that thou do all those wonders before Pharaoh, which I have put in thine hand. Uh -huh. But I will harden his heart, uh -huh. that he shall not let the people go. So this is when God chose Moses to bring Israel out of Egypt. Mm -hmm. Right? And he gave him signs and wonders in order to perform in front of of uh, in front of them, right? Yes, sir. First. Okay, go ahead. And thou shalt say unto Pharaoh, mm -hmm. Thus said the Lord, Israel is my son, uh -huh. even my firstborn. Israel is the Lord's firstborn. Yes. So if he, if Israel is the firstborn, that means that there's going to be some, some more born after it. Yes. But yes, Israel right. is his right. firstborn, and the only people who he has known 
thus far. Right. Thus far. Mm -hmm. All right. Keep reading. And I say unto thee, let my son go that he may serve me. Uh -huh. And if thou refuse to let him go, behold, I will slay thy son, even thy firstborn. Even your firstborn. <laughs> so the Lord, when he brought Israel out of Egypt, the last uh, thing that he did was he said, hey, let them go, because Israel is my firstborn. Mm -hmm. And if you don't let them go, I will kill your firstborn. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. So the Lord is serious about these people. Yes, right? He is. Yes, he is. right? He was serious about showing to the world who God was mm -hmm. and who God was with. Right? Yes. All right. Let's go over to Jeremiah 31. I don't know about you. I gotta find these people. <laughs> That's right. Yes. I gotta find these people. <laughs> Jeremiah 31. I'll we'll start at verse 1. Yes, sir. Jeremiah 31 and 1. Go ahead. At the same time, saith the Lord, uh -huh. will I be the God of all the families of Israel? Uh -huh. And they shall be my people. Yes, sir. He is the God of Israel, and they are his people. Yes. Uh -huh. Thus said the Lord, the people which were left of the sword found grace in the wilderness, uh -huh. even Israel, when I went to cause him to rest. Yes, sir. The read. Lord hath appeared of old unto me, uh -huh. saying, Yea, I have loved thee with an everlasting love. So he loves Israel with an everlasting love. So yeah, yeah. Everlasting means forever, right? That's, That's right. right. That's right. right. So he yeah. still loves these people today, mm -hmm. right? All right, so we need to really find really <laughs> Therefore, uh -huh. with loving kindness have I drawn thee. Uh -huh. Again, I will build thee, and thou shalt be built, O virgin of Israel. Uh -huh. Thou shalt again be adorned with thy tabrets, uh -huh. and shalt go forth in the dances of them that make merry. Uh -huh. So you're going to do something nice for them, right? Yes. Skip down, so. For thus saith the Lord, sing with gladness for Jacob, yes, Jacob. and shout Jacob. among the Jacob is Israel, mm -hmm. uh -huh. and shout among the chief of the nations. Uh -huh. Publish ye, praise ye, uh -huh. and say, O Lord, save thy people, uh -huh. the remnant of Israel. So save your people, the remnant of Israel. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes, sir. Keep reading. Behold. I will bring them from the north country uh -huh. and gather them from the coast of the earth uh -huh. and with them the blind and the lame. Yes, sir. The woman with child and her that travelled with child together. Uh -huh. yeah. A great company shall return thither. So he said he's going to gather them, right? Yes, His children, right? right? Keep on reading. They shall come with weeping and with supplications will I lead them. Uh -huh. I will cause them to walk by the rivers of water. Yes, sir. In a straight way uh -huh. wherein they shall not stumble, uh -huh. for I am a father to Israel. So God oh, is a father yeah. to Israel. Yeah. Uh -huh. And Ephraim is my firstborn. Ephraim, that's still Israel, is his firstborn. So he's telling them that at the end of all this thing, he's going to regather them and he's going to cause them to rest from all the stuff that, that's been going on with them, right? Yes. So I don't know. I want to rest with them. <laughs> yes, sir. Me, myself, I want to rest with them. Yeah. So. I'm going to find out. So let's go Let's go over to Romans. Mm -hmm. We're just going to hit a couple more places before we, we, we get this going into a different direction. Mm -hmm. Romans chapter 11. We're going to start at verse 1. Yes, sir. Romans chapter 11, verse 1. Right now, anybody that's watching or anybody that has heard thus far, they should be uh, really... Wondering or wanting to know who yes. Israel is. Right, right. Right. If you didn't know before, or you didn't want to know before, and now you should want right. to know. Right. That's right. That's right. Yes, sir. Uh, Romans 11 and 1. Go ahead, read. I say then, have God cast away his people? And who is God's people? Israel. Yes, Israel. Right. All right. We've read that several times. Yes, right? sir. This is Paul talking to Romans. All right. Go ahead. Has, it, has God cast away his people? God forbid. God forbid. Uh -huh. 
But I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham, uh -huh. of the tribe of Benjamin. So this is Paul. He sees he's an Israelite of the uh, seed of Abraham, the tribe of Benjamin, right? Yeah. yeah. God has not cast away his people, which he foreknew. He has not cast away his people, which he foreknew, right? Because we know that he chose Israel, and he chose Israel to send us after him. Yes. So he has not cast away his people, right? That's right. You read? What ye not, what the scripture saith of Elias, how he maketh intercession to God against Israel, saying, uh, just get on down to five. Even so then, uh -huh. at this present time and also, at this present time also, uh -huh. there is a remnant according to the election of grace. Yes, sir, there is a remnant according to the election of grace, even at this time right now. So these people are pretty important. It looks like they got everything. The, the oracles, the answers of God. He raised them up a prophet. Yes. They are the only one he's ever spoken to. Mm -hmm. And he's going to cause them to rest at yes. the end of this whole thing, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. And that anybody who wants to be part of God's family, they got to come and find who Israel is. Oh, right. Right. Say it now. Yes. Yes. So if I want to be in God's kingdom, I need to find out who these people are. Yes, sir. Right? Uh -huh. Yes, sir. So we're going to look and see, can we find who Israel is? <laughs> yes, sir. All right. We're going to look, we're going to search the scriptures, and we're going to see, we're going to find are. out who Israel is. Teach. Because I'm going to find out who these people is, because wherever they at is where I'm going to be at. Hey. That's right. All right. That's right. All right. Teach, All right. Teach, bro. All right. So let's go over to Genesis. So in order for us to to find out who these people are, let's try to find out who everybody is. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> right? All right. Okay. So when you're reading the book, you know, you kind of know who everybody is, and then you go off from that. So let's go to Genesis chapter 10. Genesis chapter 10, and we're going to start at verse 1. Genesis chapter 10 and 1. Go ahead, read. Now these are the generations of the sons of Noah, uh -huh. Shem, Ham, and Japheth, uh -huh. and unto them were sons born after the flood. So this is after the Lord has destroyed the earth and has saved eight souls <laughs> on the ark. Yes. And they are to replenish the earth with the people. So everybody who is alive right now came from one of these yes. sons of Noah. Yes, sir. Shem, Ham, or Japheth. All right. All right. Okay. Go ahead, read. The sons of Japheth, uh -huh. Gomer, Gomer, and Magog, uh -huh. and Madai, and Japheth, Tubal, and Meshach, and Tyrus, uh -huh. and the sons of Gomer, Ashkenaz, yes, and Ribfat, and Togomar, yes, and the sons of Javan, Eliasha, Tarshish, Kittim, and Dodanam. Uh -huh. By these were the isles of the Gentiles uh -huh. divided in their lands, uh -huh. every one after his uh -huh. tongues, uh -huh. after their families, in their nations. So, we have the first, the, the first son here that he's talking about is Japheth, right? Mm -hmm. He names all these nations. Uh, where they come from, what 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 they came to establish, right? And Japheth's descendants or his sons are called the Gentiles, right? Mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So when we look at the book and we see Gentiles, we know that he's talking about Japheth's sons, Japheth. right? Right. Yes, All right. Mm -hmm. So let's go to the book. I got an excerpt of the book from Babylon to Tempo Two. It's a pretty good book. If you can get your hands on it, grab it and read it. But Babylon, the Timbuk 2, we're going to read page 19. We're going to read a couple of excerpts out of pages 19 and 20. And I got them highlighted for yeah, you. Okay. Go ahead and read. The third classification of mankind was the Jephite uh -huh. from Jephthah, who was the youngest son of Noah. Yes, sir. The offspring of Japheth occupied the Isles of the Gentiles. Right. The we, we read that, 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 that Japheth's offspring was known as Gentiles, right? Okay, go ahead. Yes, sir. The shore territories of the Mediterranean Sea in Europe, Europe. and parts of Asia Minor. Europe and Asia Minor, uh-huh. Whence they dispersed 
northward over the entire continent of Europe, Europe. and a great part of Asia. And Asia, right? Mm -hmm. So, so Japheth people went up uh -oh. from Israel uh -huh. or, or from wherever mm -hmm. the 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 ark landed. Uh -huh. They went up, right, yeah. into Europe mm -hmm. and to uh, parts of Asia. Right? Right. Yes, sir. Okay. You read. Japheth's descendants traveled west, north, and northeast of the mountain of Ararat. Ararat, that's, and where, that's where the, the ark came to rest mm -hmm. when it was done. Uh -huh. And the Caucasus Mountains, the Japheth settled near the mountains of Tartus and Amos in Turkey. In Turkey, Turkey, they, all right. We they, know where Turkey is, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. They journeyed to the river Tanais in the southeast Russia, Russia. We and, along, Russia right? okay. and along Europe mm -hmm. to Cadiz, Spain. Uh-huh, Spain. We know that. These are all European countries, right? right. Okay. Yes, sir. The son Japheth were Gomer, uh -huh. Magog, Javon, Tubal, Meshach, Tyrus, and Gomer was the ancestor of the first Sumerians uh -huh. and of the latter Sembri including the other offshoots of the Celtic family Celtic and of the present-day Gaeza of Ireland. Uh -huh, the yeah. girls of Ireland, mm -hmm. Scotland. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So we see Japheth traveled upward from Iraq yes, and sir. occupied Europe and parts of Asia. Mm -hmm. We see Scotland in there and stuff like that, right? Yes, sir. So this is, simply put, white folks. Mm -hmm. So Japheth's descendants or Gentiles or white folks, right? Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's read one more thing. This is out of a book that I found called. Oh, we didn't finish that, did we? Okay. Let's, we don't finish Babylon and Timbuktu. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. The third son of Japheth was Magi, mm -hmm. the father of the Medes. Uh -huh. They were located at the southern part of the Caspian Sea, uh -huh. and they later united with the Persians to form one race. That's the Medes and the Persians. The Medes and the Persians are important uh, uh, when we read about prophecy and stuff like that, all right? Mm -hmm. From Jabin, the fourth son of Japheth, uh -huh. came. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. Read that, yeah. From Jabin, the fourth son of Japheth, came the Ionians and all the Greeks. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. we are seeing that these are... Gentiles or white folks, right? Yes, sir. Right. And let's skip to that last. Uh, okay. Japheth's grandson, Ashkenaz, formed the Germanic race. In the Hebrew language, the word means German. So Ashkenaz means mm. German. Mm -hmm. So we got Germany and Scotland and Turkey and all mm -hmm. these places up right. in Europe, right? Yes. So we see Japheth's descendants are Gentiles mm -hmm. and they are white folks. Okay. Mm -hmm. Simple as that, all right? Yeah. Let's read out of, uh, it was this book I came across. I didn't even, I wasn't even looking for this book, but I happened to come across it when I was in the library. Mm -hmm. It's called The Descendants of Adam. And it's just uh, a book of the genealogy from Adam all the way down to in, in long of time. Yes, sir. And so I just uh, copied a couple of pages out of it. So it's mm -hmm. uh, Descendants of Adam, page 11. Okay. Let's read the highlight. The Canaanites were to serve the descendants of Shem and Japheth. Mm -hmm. Notes for Japheth. Japheth's clan was also known as the Japhites. Descendants of Japheth went north and settled around the coastlands of the Black and Caspian Seas. Uh -huh. They became the ancestors, ancestors of the Medes and Greeks, as well as the Caucasian races of Europe and Asia. Uh -huh. So I just wanted to just put a note on that. I mean, just put a cap on that, that the defenders of the descendants of Japheth mm -hmm. are Europeans, white folks, right? Yes. And so we, we, what we're doing here is we're just finding out who everybody is so that we can kind of zero in and find out who Israel is. Israel. Right. All right, right, sir. Right. Yes, sir. All right. Oh, brother. So let's go okay. on back to Genesis chapter 10. Mm -hmm. So we're going to start where we left off and read about the next son, of Noah. Go ahead. And the sons of Ham, Cush, and Mizraim, and Foot, and Canaan, and the sons of Cush, Seba, and Havilah, and Septah, and Ramah, and Septuchah, uh -huh. and the sons of Ramah, Sheba, and Dedan, mm -hmm. and Cush begat Nimrod. Uh -huh. So Cush is the ancient name for Ethiopia, right? Mm -hmm. 
Mizraim is the next ancient iron port, Egypt. These are uh, countries in Africa or nations in Africa, right? Yes, sir. This this below Ararat, right? Mm -hmm. So we see that the the ham went down. Uh, Japheth went up from Ararat. Ararat. The uh, Ham's sons went down. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. Keep he began to be a mighty one in the earth. Uh -huh. He was a mighty hunter before the Lord. Yes, sir. Wherefore it is said, even as Nimrod, the mighty hunter before the Lord, and the beginning of his kingdom was Babel. Uh -huh. So and one of the first kingdoms was Babel, mm -hmm. right? And Nimrod was the king of it. Yes, so he was actually the first king of in the earth, right? Mm -hmm. Go ahead, read. And Erech, and Achaid, and Canaan is the land of Shinar. Mm -hmm. Out of that land went forth Asher and built it Nineveh. Nineveh, we heard that before, right? Yes, yeah, sir. That's yeah. where uh, uh, Jonah, Jonah had to go, right? Right. right? right, so we know the Ninevites came out of Ham. Right. Okay, yes, sir. Keep it. And the city Rehoboth and Kala and resin before Nineveh and Cape Kala, the same is a great city. Uh -huh. And Mizraim begat Ludum and Anamim and Lahabim and Nephthahim. Uh -huh. So Mizraim, Egypt, begat Ludum and all the other ones. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Go ahead. And Pathrosim and Kalshahim, uh -huh. out of whom came Philistine. Philistine. Well, yes, the sir. Philistines. So yeah. we see that the Philistines came out of wow. Ham. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Last word. And that's it. Okay. Captorin. All right. And let's get down to 220. Mm -hmm. These are the sons of Ham, after their families, after their tongues, in their countries, and in their nations. So we see that the children of Japheth went up into the European countries in Asia. They white folks, they call Gentiles, mm -hmm. according to the book. Yes. We see Ham sons went down, it happened in Egypt, Canaan, uh, Philistine, and, and all the other countries, Ethiopia, mm -hmm. yes, sir. right? Mm -hmm. So we see they went down. Mm -hmm. right? mm -hmm. Let's, uh, yeah, this is doing the Zondifer mm -hmm. Compact Bible Dictionary. Now, there's a caveat. No black people wrote any of these books that we read now. <laughs> Except for the Bible. <laughs> None of these other books that we read now. Right? Right. 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 So this we didn't write these things, right? Yeah, yes, right. sir. So we don't read the definition of ham out of the Zondifer uh compact Bible dictionary. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, read. Right. Ham, perhaps, perhaps hot. The youngest son of Noah, uh -huh. born probably about 96 years before the flood, uh -huh. and one of the eight persons to live through the flood, uh -huh. he became the progenitor of the dark races. So he became the, the father or the, mm -hmm. the, the one who produced the dark nations, right? Mm -hmm. Not the Negroes. Not the Negroes. Mm -hmm. The Negroes is the Americans, right? right. right. American black people. Right. So Ham became the progenitor of the dark races, right? right so we right. see Egypt and Ethiopia on them, but not the Negroes. Right, right, right. So exactly. we see that the ne that the Negroes or the people that sit in place here are not Hamites. Oh, right. Right? Right. Because, right. Yes, right. Yes, sir. Right. But the Egyptians, the, Egyptians, the Ethiopians, Ethiopians, the Libyans, uh -huh. and the Canaanites. The Canaanites, right. Yes, sir. Right. So we narrow in some things down here. We see that Japheth went up. He lives in Europe and stuff like that. Ham went down. Mm -hmm. He lives in Africa, right? Yes. And then we have the last son of Noah, yes. which is Shem. Yeah. And Genesis 15, 1 through 5. Genesis chapter 10, we're going to start at 22. Go ahead, read. The children of Shem, uh -huh. Elam, Asher, and Aphrasai, and Lud, and Aram, and the children of Aram, Uz, and Hol, and Gethner, and Mash, and Aphrasai, uh -huh. begat Salah, and Salah begat Eber. Eber. Eber is the, the Hebrew, it means Hebrew. Mm -hmm. So that's where Hebrew came from, 
and on down the line, you know, Abraham was descended yes. from him, mm -hmm. became the Hebrew Abraham. Mm -hmm. uh, where are we at? Thirty-one. Oh, skip down thirty-one. Go ahead, yes, sir. These are the sons of Shem after their families, after their tongues, in their lands, after their nations. So I didn't read all of these, but we see out of Shem comes Hebrews. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. All right. So let's go into Genesis chapter 11. We're going to start at verse 1. So we got Japheth, Ham, and Shem. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Go ahead, Ella. Uh, Genesis 11 and verse 1. And the whole earth was of one language and of one speech. Yes, sir. And it came to pass as they journeyed from the east that they found a plain in the mm -hmm. land of Shinar, uh -huh. and they dwelt there. And they said one to another, Go to, let us make brick and burn them thoroughly. Uh -huh. And they had brick for stone, and slime had they for mortar. And they said, Go to, let us build us a city and a tower whose top may reach into heaven, and let us make us a name, lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth. And so, this was the beginning of the building of the Tower of Babel. Mm -hmm. We see that uh, he was causing everybody, or it was actually Nimrod, who was causing everybody to stay in one place and mm -hmm. to make this kingdom. Yes. Where the Lord had told us to to scatter, right? Mm -hmm. Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth, right? Yes. Right? So he caused everybody to stay and build the kingdom mm -hmm. and start building the tower, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Keep reading. And the Lord came down to see the city and the tower which the children of men builded. Mm -hmm. And the Lord said, Behold, the people is one, and they have all one language. And this they began to do. And now nothing will be restrained from them. So if they had continued, because everybody was on one accord in the one language, pretty soon it wouldn't have been anything that they couldn't learn how to do. Right. Even probably living forever. You right. know. Uh -oh. <laughs> but we know that, that the tree of, of life had been taken from them. So. Yes. Go ahead. Bless. Which they have imagined to do. Mm -hmm. Go to. Let us go down. And there confound their language yes, that they may not understand one another's speech. Yes, sir. So the Lord scattered them abroad from this upon the face of all the earth, and they left off to build the city. Now, if you're around here next week for the lesson, this is going to be very important in the next lesson that I was doing too. How they were all there at one place, and then the Lord confounded their languages, and then they spread off into the earth. But keep reading. Therefore, is the name of it called Babel? Uh -huh. Because the Lord did there confound the language of all the earth. Uh -huh. And from this did the Lord scatter them abroad upon the face of all the earth. Yes, sir. So, the, okay. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, read that, read that. These are the generations of Shem. Uh -huh. Shem was a hundred years old and begat or backstabbed two years after the flood. Yes, sir. Now skip over to 26 and read that. Yes, sir. And Terah lived 70 years and begat Abram, Nahor, and Haran. And so out of Shem comes Abram, mm -hmm. right? Yes, sir. So you can give down to 31. Yes, sir. And Terah took Abram, uh -huh. his son, and Lot, the son of Haran, his son's son, and Sarah, his daughter-in-law, his son Abram's wife. Uh -huh. And they went forth with him from Ur of the Chaldees uh -huh. to go into the land of Canaan. Canaan. Canaan is descended from Ham. Yeah. Yeah. We just read that, right? So they went into a black nation's land. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. Keep reading. And they came unto Haran and dwelt there. Then you up there, right, right. All right. So let's go over to Genesis chapter 26. So we see out of Abram, though, out of Abraham, Abram, uh, name was changed to Abraham. Mm -hmm. Out of him came Isaac and Jacob.
Yes, sir. And out of Jacob, his name was changed to Israel, and the Israelites came out of them. So we see Israelites came out of Shem. Yeah. All right? Yes, sir. So Genesis 26. And we're going to read 4 and 5. Genesis 26 and 4 and 5. Yes, sir. Go ahead, read. And I will make thy seed to multiply as the stars of heaven. So this is what uh, uh, a covenant that he made with Abram, mm -hmm. right? Or Abraham. He changed his name to Abraham and made a covenant with him. Mm -hmm. And he said, I will make thy seed multiply as the stars of heaven. Uh -huh. And will give unto thy seed all these countries. Uh -huh. And in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed. And so, and so in Abram's seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Because that Abram obeyed my voice. Abram obeyed his voice. And kept my charge, uh -huh. my commandments, uh -huh. my statutes, yes, and my laws. So Abram was keeping the laws and the statutes. Even before Moses gave it to him, yes. the Lord was choosing certain people, and he would give his laws and commandments to them so that they would keep them. And they would pass them on, pass them on. It was when he chose the nation of Israel that he wrote them down for everybody. Right? Yes. Okay. All right. We just read that. Let's go over to Genesis 37. Yes, sir. We'll start at verse 1. Now, out of Abraham came Isaac, and Isaac begat Jacob. Mm -hmm. And I'm I'm not reading all this just for brevity's sake because it'll take us a long time to go through all these things. Yes. But Genesis 37 and verse 1. Go ahead. And Jacob dwelt in the land wherein his father was a stranger in the land of Canaan. Now, we just read that Abraham went and lived in Canaan. So yes, here we have Jacob being born among the Canaanites, right? Yes. And Canaan is a black nation, mm -hmm. descended from Ham, right? Yes, sir. Okay. These are the generations of Jacob. Uh -huh. Joseph, being 17 years old, was feeding the flock with his brethren. And the lamb was with the sons of Bilhah, mm -hmm. and with the sons of Zilpah, his father's wives. Uh -huh. And Joseph brought unto his father their evil report. So Joseph was a snitch. He snitched on his brother. <laughs> <laughs> he, was, he was the tattletale of the family. <laughs> right. He went and brought unto his father their evil report. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. He read. Now Israel loved Joseph more than all his children. Now see, Israel was showing partiality to his kids. You know, he loved Joseph more than he loved all the other kids, all right? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Because he was the son of his old age, mm -hmm. and he made him a coat of many colors. Yes, sir. And when his brothers saw that their father loved him more than all his brethren, they hated him uh -huh. and could not speak peaceably unto him. Uh -huh. And Joseph dreamed a dream, and he told it his brethren, and they hated him yet the more. Uh, and the dream was that he was going to rule over them. Yes. That was the dream. And they hated him for that. Right? Because he was the youngest. Yes. Right. Like, you're the little guy, man. You know, running the litter, and you don't, you don't rule over us. All right. So they didn't like him because of that. Let's skip on down to 19. Yes, sir. Very. And when they saw him afar off, even before he came near unto them, they conspired against him to slay him. Okay, so they they went out, and he came out there, and they conspired to, to kill him. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And they said one to another, Behold, this dreamer coming. Uh -huh. Come now, therefore, and let us slay him, mm -hmm. and cast him into some pit, and we will say some evil beast had devoured him. And we shall see what will become of his dreams. Uh -huh. So he said, "We gonna kill him." <laughs> right. He said, "He's gonna rule over us, but we are gonna kill him. We are gonna see what will become of his dreams." <laughs> right, right, all right. Bad, and Reuben heard it, and he delivered him out of their hands, and said, "Let us not kill him." Uh -huh. And Reuben said unto them, "Shed no blood, but cast him into this pit that is in the wilderness, and lay no hand upon him, uh -huh. that he might rid him." Of their hands to deliver him to his father again. So Reuben was like, "Look, let me. I'm on. Let's not kill him, y'all. Let's throw him in the pit here. Yes. And you know, 
and just leave him there. You know, but he had planned to go back and, and grab him out of the pit and bring him back to daddy. Say, hey, don't let this boy go out with these boys again. Right. 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 All right, keep on reading. And it came to pass when Joseph was come unto his brother that they stripped Joseph out of his coat, uh -huh. his coat of many colors that was on him. Mm -hmm. And they took him and cast him into a pit, and the pit was empty. There was no water in it. Yes, sir. And they sat down to eat bread, and they lifted up their eyes and looked, and behold, a company of Ishmaelites uh -huh. came from Gilead with their camels, bearing spicery and balm and myrrh, going to carry it down to Egypt. Ishmaelites. So Ishmael was the son of Abraham, Abraham but his, his mom was an Egyptian. Uh -huh. right? right. So Ishmaelite is the progenitor of some of the Egyptians, right? Yes. Or, well, not really, but he was related to them, right? Mm -hmm. So we know the Egyptians, though, were a black race, right? right. Yes. Because we already, we already established that, that Ham's children went down into Africa and established that, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. So these Ishmaelites mm -hmm. were, were black folks. Yes. Right? Right. Right. And Judah said unto his brother, what profit is it? If we slay our brother and conceal his blood. Uh -huh. So what what we gonna get? I mean, if we kill him, what we gonna get? Yes. If we just killed him. Mm -hmm. That's all. Keep ready. Come and let us all sell him to the Ishmaelites. Uh -huh. And let not our hand be upon him. Uh -huh. For he is our brother, uh, our flesh. Uh -huh. And his brother were content. Uh -huh. Then there there passed by Midianites, mm -hmm. merchantmen. And they drew and lifted up Joseph out of the pit and sold Joseph to the Israelites uh -huh. for 20 pieces of silver. And they brought Joseph into Egypt. They brought Joseph into Egypt, which is a black nation. All right. Now we, 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 I'm saying all this so that we can nail it down. People, so we can see people who, who is who. Right? Mm -hmm. All right. Yes, sir. So let's go over to 38. Genesis 38, we're going to start at verse 1. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And it came to pass at that time that Judah went down from his brother and turned into a certain uh, Adulamite uh -huh. whose name was Hira. Uh -huh. And Judah saw there a daughter of a certain Canaanite uh -huh. whose name was Shua. Uh -huh. And he took her and went in uh -huh. unto her. Yes, sir. And she conceived and bare a son, and he called his name Ur. Ur. So Judah... One of the sons of Jacob married a Canaanite. Or he had a kid with a Canaanite. And the Canaanites are are descendants of Ham, which Ham. are black. 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 black All right. Right. So sir. we see Shemites now mixing in with Hamites, right? Yes, sir. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Keep on reading. And she conceived again uh -huh. and bear a son. And she called his name Onan. Uh-huh. And she yet again conceived uh -huh. and bare a son and called his name Shelah. Mm -hmm. And he was a Shezeb, which when she bare him. Uh -huh. And Judah took a wife for Ur, his firstborn, born, whose name was Tamar. Tamar. So Judah took a wife for his son, Ur, Tamar. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure she was of, of the Canaanites too. But we see that Judah which is a Shemite, married a Canaanite. So he married a, a, black, a black folk. He uh -huh. married a black folk, all right? Mm -hmm. Let's go over to Genesis 41. And we're going to start at 41. Genesis chapter 41 and 41. So at this point, Joseph is in, is in Egypt among the Egyptians, right? Yes. All right. So you read 41. And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, See, I have set thee over all the land of Egypt. So Joseph went into Egypt and uh, was able to become a ruler in Egypt by uh, answering Pharaoh's questions that no one else could answer. Right? Mm -hmm. So he became a ruler in Egypt, Joseph, which is a Shemite. Right? Okay. And he's among the Hamites. Right? Mm -hmm. All right. Keep reading. And Pharaoh took off his ring from his hand uh -huh. 
and put it upon Joseph's hand and arrayed him in vestures of fine linen and put a gold chain about his neck. Uh, we, we know Mike was always up there. <laughs> <laughs> but you see, Joseph now is among the Egyptians and he is uh, the second ruler under, under Pharaoh. Yes, right? yes. Keep on reading. And he made him to ride in the second chariot, mm -hmm. which he had. And they cried before him, bow the knee. And he made him ruler over all the land of Egypt. Yes, sir. And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, mm -hmm. I am Pharaoh. And without thee shall no man lift up his hand or foot in all the land of Egypt. Yes, sir. And Pharaoh called Joseph's name Zaphnite. Hanaya, mm -hmm. and he gave him to wife as Senatha, uh -huh. the daughter of Potter, 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 Potter uh -huh. priest of On. Uh -huh. And Joseph went out over all the land of Egypt. So Joseph went out over all the land of Egypt, but uh, Pharaoh gave Joseph an Egyptian wife. Yes. Right? Black folk. Mm -hmm. right? Black folk. So That's here right. we see another Shemite is marrying into black folk. Right? Right, right. So, yes, yes. We're just doing that to establish some things here. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's go over to Genesis 45. Okay. Genesis 45, and I'm going to start at 24. Yes, sir. Genesis 45 and 24. Go ahead. So he sent his brethren away, mm -hmm. and they departed. And he said unto them, See that he fall not out of out by the way. So he he did some things in Egypt. Uh, he dreamed a dream, saw that uh, that there was a famine coming, and so he convinced Pharaoh to put up the fifth part of of their their stuff and okay. to save it for the famine. Mm -hmm. And he did that. Egypt became very rich, very wealthy, and uh, everybody from all over the world came to buy food from Egypt. Mm -hmm. right? And his brothers came up there because they didn't know, they thought he was dead. He came up there. And so he, he was dealing with them, but he was he was speaking in the Egyptian language. I don't know what that was, but he was speaking in the Egyptian language. Mm -hmm. He still knew Hebrew though. Mm -hmm. And uh, and he was dealing with them. Yes. So where were we at? Where were we at? 25. 25, go ahead. And they went up out of Egypt and came into the land of Canaan unto Jacob, their father. Uh -huh. And told him, saying, Joseph is yet alive. Uh -huh. So he dealt with them. Yes. And at the end of all of it, he revealed himself to, to them. Mm -hmm. And he asked the, the dad, is my daddy still alive? And he was like, yeah, yeah. So he sent them back. Mm -hmm. and, and he told them. Okay. Mm -hmm. so go ahead. And he is governor over all the land of Egypt. Uh -huh. And Jacob's heart fainted, for he believed them not. Mm -hmm. And they told him all the words of Joseph, which he had said unto them. And when he saw the wagons which Joseph had sent to carry him, mm -hmm. the spirit of Jacob, their father, revived. Mm -hmm. And Israel said, it is enough. Joseph, my son, is yet alive. Yes, I will go and see him before I die. Uh -huh. So just read uh, 46 and 1. 46 and 1. Yes, sir. And Israel took his journey with all that he had and came to Beersheba and offered sacrifices unto the God of his father, Isaac. Now, he, now Israel and his family came into Egypt, right? Mm -hmm. So this is a, a bust of Queen Ty, King Tut's grandmother, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. We see the black folks, mm -hmm. right? Yes. This is a relief that was in King Tut's is a bed chain, right? Mm -hmm. These are all black folks. These not Arabs or the people who are there right now. The Arabs came and conquered Israel, and I forget the, the timeline, but they came in, I mean, they came in and conquered Egypt mm -hmm. and took it over. But you can still see these people there mm -hmm. in Egypt. They just in the ghettos and in the poor parts of Egypt. Okay. <laughs> this, is, this is King Tut and his wife. Mm -hmm. So we're just showing you that these people are, are black. Right? Yes. Wow. So <clears throat> let's go over to where are we at? 50. Oh, yeah. Genesis 50. Good looking. I was down halfway through. 
way down the picture. Okay. Genesis 50. Yes, sir. And yeah, we're going to start at verse 4. So, yeah, go ahead. And when the days of his mourning were past, Joseph spake unto the house of Pharaoh, saying, if now I have found grace in your eyes, speak, I pray you, in the ears of Pharaoh, saying. So, finally Israel had died, and then Joseph was asking uh, Pharaoh, could he go <laughs> and bury his, his pop? All right. You right? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. My father made me swear, saying, Lo, I die in my grave, which I have dig for me. In the land of Canaan, there shall thou bury me. Uh -huh. So his father wanted to be buried in the yes. land of Canaan, which is Ham's land, mm -hmm. which is Black folks. Right? Black folks, yes, right. sir. Keep on. Now, therefore, let me go up. I pray thee and bury my father, and I will come again. Mm -hmm. And Pharaoh said, go up and bury that father according as he made thee to swear. Uh -huh. And mm -hmm. Joseph went up to bury his father with and with him went up all the servants of Pharaoh, the elders of his house, and all the elders of the land of Egypt. So Joseph went to bury his dad, and his brothers came, but also elders and stuff and rulers in Egypt came with him, right? So yes. there was a whole bunch of people that came up with, with Joseph. It was a great company that way. All right, keep reading. And all the house of Joseph and his brothers and his father's house only their little ones and their flocks and their herds they left in the land of Goshen. Uh -huh. And there went up with them both chariots and horsemen, and it took a very great company. Yes, sir. And they came to the threshing floor of Atad, which is beyond Jordan. Yes, sir. And there they mourned with a great and very sore lamentation, and he made a murmuring of mourning of his father seven days. Uh -huh. So he mourned him seven days. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. And when the inhabitants of the land, the Canaanites, saw the mourning in the floor of Atai, they said, this is a grievous mourning to the Egyptians. This is a grievous mourning to the Hebrews. The no, Egyptians. Egyptians. The Egyptians. Mm -hmm. Hebrew. Wherefore, the name of it was called Abel Mizraim, which is beyond Jordan. So why didn't they say that this is a great mourning for the, the Hebrews or the Israelites? Because them, they look just like the Egyptians, right? Yeah. So now we see it. We saw uh, Judah, Mary, Canaanite, mm -hmm. which is descended from Ham. We saw Joseph, Mary, an Egyptian, mm -hmm. descended from Ham, mm -hmm. black folks. And we okay. saw that when they went to bury his father, that they couldn't tell the difference between them and the Egyptians, hey, right? Yeah. So we yeah. see that the Shemites are black, black, black folks, right? Oh, All right. All right. That's what we would assume. Without a doubt. Right. Right. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. right. So let's go over to Exodus. So they grow into a, a great nation, a lot of them there in Egypt. Exodus chapter 2. Mm -hmm. We're going to start at 15. Exodus 2 and 15. Yes, sir. Now, Joseph ruled in there, and they thrived there, and they ruled. To a large people. Right. Right. Now, when Pharaoh heard this thing, he sought to slay Moses. Uh -huh. But Moses fled from the face of Pharaoh and dwelt in the land of Midian. Uh -huh. So and there came a, a, a Pharaoh who didn't know Joseph right. long after, and he didn't like the way the, the Israelites were kind of populating the land. It was a lot of them. So he Put them into slavery, right? Mm -hmm. And so, uh, after many years, uh, the Lord uh, heard their cry, heard Israel's cry, yes, and sent uh, someone to bring them out of slavery. Teach, was teach, Moses, brother, was Moses teach. right? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Well, Moses was kind of scary, uh, <laughs> and he, and he left, <laughs> he left, right? Right, right. Go ahead, read yeah, yeah. the bottom of Okay, go ahead. and he sat down by a well. Now the priest of Midian had seven daughters, and they came and drew water. Mm -hmm. 
and filled the trolls to water their father's flock. Uh -huh. And the shepherds came and drove them away. But Moses stood up and helped them and watered their flock. All right, so he wasn't that scary. He brought, brought some people right. and, and made them uh, get their water. Okay, go ahead. And when they came to rule their father, he said, how is it that ye are come so soon today? Because Moses beat up the people for him. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. And they said, an Egyptian delivered us out of the hand um, of the shepherds. Oh, no. Moses is a Hebrew. Yeah. Right. Why they call him an Egyptian? Right. Because he, was, he had all his Egyptian clothes. He grew up. Yes. And it, I, I neglected to, to tell a little Moses a little Moses' story. Moses uh, grew up. And uh, uh, as Pharaoh's grandson, right, right. Uh, Pharaoh was was killing the, Egypt, the, the Israelites uh, out of the land uh, because there were so many of them. But Moses got spared, and uh, uh, Pharaoh's daughter grabbed him, and uh, he became her son. Her son. Right. Yeah. Right? right. So Pharaoh grew up among the Egyptians as a prince of Egypt. Yes. Right. 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 Yeah. yeah. And Moses. we know that the Egyptians were black. We just looked at. Right. Yes, yes. So for sir. Moses to pass as Pharaoh's grandson, yeah. he had to look yeah. just right. like them. Right. Right. right, right, exactly, right. sir. So right. he looked like the Egyptian, meaning he was black, right? right. And right. when he got here, he was still had on his Egyptian right. robes right. and stuff like right. that. So they thought yes. he was an Egyptian. Right. Yes. Right. All right. Mm -hmm. right. I did to say that I should have went through that. I didn't want to read all that too because it's a really long story. Right. But last part of nineteen. Right. Nineteen years. And also drew water enough for us and watered the flock. Yes, sir. And he said unto his daughters, And where is he? Why is it that he ye have left the man? Call him that he may eat bread. And Moses was content to dwell with the man, and he gave Moses Zipporah his daughter. So Moses married a black woman too. <laughs> right? so we just, I'm just saying this to, to show that there's no difference in skin color between the Egyptians, I mean, to Ham's children and yes. Shem's children. Yes, sir. Right? Right. Right. Yes, sir. There is a difference, though, with Japheth because Japheth moved north, mm -hmm. climbing and stuff, you know, kind of changed how he looked, you know what I mean? So he looked a little different than his brothers look. Right? Mm -hmm. But we all come from the same. Yes, sir. Where we at here? So let's go over to Exodus chapter 4. Yes, sir. And we're going to read 6 and 7. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. And the Lord said, Furthermore, unto him, put now thy hand into thy bosom. Uh -huh. And he put his hand into his bosom. Now, Moses came back to deliver the children of Israel out of Egypt. And the Lord was giving him uh, signs. Yes. Signs and miracles to do in front of the people, right? Yes, sir. So that Pharaoh would know that it was God. Oh, so he was yes. going to harden Pharaoh's heart. We yes. read that actually earlier. Yes, he, he was going to harden Pharaoh's heart yes, so that he wouldn't let them go because he wanted to put his hand on Egypt mm -hmm. for the way they was treating Israel. Yes. Right? Uh -huh. So he said, one of the signs he gave him was this. He said, Lord put furthermore told him to put his hand in his bosom, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, what happened? And when he took it out, behold, his hand was leprous as snow. Uh -huh. And he said, put thy hand into thy bosom again. Uh -huh. And he put his hand into his bosom again uh -huh. and plucked it out of his bosom. And behold, it was turned again as his other flesh. So we know that Moses looked like the Egyptians or the Hamites, right? Mm -hmm. So this thing that he did probably looked something like this. <laughs> right. If, if Moses was white and he put his hand in his bosom and his hand came out white, that wouldn't be well, maybe a little whiter. Yeah, that wouldn't have been a big deal. Right. But Moses was looked like the Egyptian, right? Because he passed as Pharaoh's grandson. That's right? right. So when he put his hand in his bosom, he pulled it out. It looked like this. Mm -hmm. Now that would have been scary <laughs> if I would have saw that. Yeah. <laughs> Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> we finish that? Yes, we okay. Finish 12. So let's go over to Exodus 12. Mm -hmm. so now, 
Moses is part of these Israelites. And we, we had learned earlier mm -hmm. that the Israelites are an important people. We learned why they were important, right? Yes. Why, why yes. are we supposed to know who they are? That's right. And now we're putting our finger on them to figure out who they are because we want to become part of the Commonwealth of Israel. Yes, sir. Right. If we want to be part of God's kingdom, right? Yes, sir. right. Everyone has to do that. Right. So, right. Exodus 12. All right, and we gonna read thirty-seven and thirty-eight. Yes, sir. This is twelve thirty-seven. Go ahead. And the children of Israel journeyed from Ramses to Sukkot, uh -huh. about six hundred thousand on foot that were men, uh -huh. beside children. Uh -huh. So when Israel came into Egypt, he had seventy people with him. Mm -hmm. But when they left out. It was 600,000. 600,000 men. Right. That's not counting the women and children, right? right? right. Exactly. Now, we're going to have to assume that that oh, the Israelites got their wives from among the Egyptians. Okay. Right? That's where they okay. were. So they came out. They came out 600,000 strong, more than 600,000, but 600,000 strong. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. read. And a mixed multitude went up also a with mixed, them. A mixed multitude went up with them. So that when they came out, it wasn't just Israelites. It was, you know, some Egyptians who had got with them. Yes. And whoever else saw that God was with them. Yes. One went with them. Right? Mm -hmm. All right. And flocks and herds, even very much cattle. That's uh, So they came out with a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. So let's go over to Matthew chapter 2. So now we have established the colors of the people. Japheth, Ham, and Shem. Mm -hmm. And we started reading about Israel, uh, how the Lord, we already read before then, uh, how Israel, uh, how the Lord brought Israel out, and how Israel is his firstborn, and how they were given the covenants, and everything was given to them. Yes. And they were the only people that he knew. Right. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. They were the only people that he dealt with in the earth. And that in order, we read that in order to be part of that, you have to attach yourself to them. Yes. You have to become part of the commonwealth of Israel. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Right? All right. Mm -hmm. So if anybody else wants to know God, they better know who these people are. And they better go and find these people mm -hmm. and have these people tell them who God is. Because uh -huh. they don't know. That's right. They don't know. They think they know, but they don't know. I know. Yes, sir. All right. Matthew chapter 2, and we're going to start at verse 1. Go ahead. Now, when Jesus was born in Bethlehem uh -huh. of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, yes, sir. saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? Uh -huh. For we have seen his star in the east. And are come to worship him. Uh -huh. So they came, they saw a star in the east, and they came to worship him. All right. Mm -hmm. When Herod the king had heard these things, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. Now, Herod was not, he was king of Judea, but he was not an Israelite. He no. was actually an Edomite. He was right. from uh, Jacob's brother. He was a descendant of Jacob's brother, mm -hmm. Esau. Right. Mm -hmm. But since he had some, some, Jewy ways, <laughs> and and he had and he had a he had a thing against uh, his brother. Right. He uh, he, uh, he was put in charge of Judea. Right. Mm -hmm. And when he was now Herod, you may not find this in here, but when Herod was uh, uh, king, he made sure that he was going to be king for until the day he died. Yes, he right. And he didn't want anyone to become king. So he would kill, he killed his Everybody. kids, he killed anybody who had any kind of claim Everybody. to the throne. Yes, so Herod. when we read here that Herod, that, that uh, wow. uh, when Herod was troubled and all of the Jerusalem with him, mm -hmm. whenever Herod got nervous, Everybody got nervous because nobody knew who he was going to kill. <laughs> <laughs> Herod got nervous, he was going to kill somebody. Right. 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 So, so when he was troubled, everybody was troubled. Right, right, right. right. All right, keep going. Yes, sir. Then Herod, when he had privately called the wise men, inquired of them diligently what time the star appeared. 
And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the young child. Uh -huh. And when ye have found him, bring me word again that I may come and worship him also. That's verse 8. Yes, I have seen it. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. Mm -hmm. And when they were come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary, his mother, and fell down and worshiped him. Mm -hmm. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts, uh -huh. gold and frankincense and myrrh. And we don't, we don't go over this story, actually, again next week when I do the story on, on Christmas. Uh -huh. we, don't go over this. we don't go over this again and point out. Because mm -hmm. there's a lot of things in here that's super inaccurate, but we'll, we'll get to that next week. Go ahead. And being warned of God in a dream that they should not return to Herod, uh -huh. they departed into their own country another way. Yes, sir. And when they were departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise and take the young child and his mother and flee into Egypt. Uh -huh. And be thou there until I bring thee word. Uh -huh. For Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. So we have the Lord sending Mary and Joseph into Egypt to hide. Right. And not because they sent him into Egypt to hide because he would be among people who look like him. It'd be hard to find, you know what I mean? Right. When, when one of these brothers commit a crime out here, man, he go back to the projects, man, you know, it's hard to find that brother, man, unless you know, you know, what it looks like, but you know, he go over in the white folk neighborhood and do something and then come back here in the projects, boom, they can't find him. Right. There's too many people over there that look like him. Right. 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 And they ain't saying nothing either. Right. right. So when uh, Joseph and Mary went down into Egypt, they hid that. They could hit they could hide among people mm -hmm. who look like them and, you know, be there contender to the Lord pull Jesus back out, right? Mm -hmm. So we see that Jesus looked like yeah, yeah. the children of man. Uh oh right, right, right. right. So Jesus was black. Uh -oh. right. 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 So now we start to narrow this thing down. We see we found out who the Israelites are. Well, we haven't found out mm -hmm. who they are today. Ah. But we found out who they are in the scriptures. And that yes. they were descended from Shem. Yes. Right? We saw the descendants of Japheth. We saw the descendants of Ham. Mm -hmm. Now we see the descendants of Shem. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. And the descendants of Shem leads us to Jesus. Right? right. Okay. So now we're going to have to find out who these people are today. Right? Mm -hmm. So let's go over to Deuteronomy. 28. One more time, what you say? Oh, we didn't. Oh, we didn't go. Yeah, we don't have to do that. Okay. I was just going to go into Acts and, and show how Paul got mistaken for it to be an Egyptian. You know, okay. But if Paul got mistaken uh, to be an Egyptian, then I mean that Paul had to be a black, black skin <laughs> or dark skin. Yes, 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 sir. yes, sir. That's right. I feel like I'm beating a dead horse when I keep on. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, it's for a reason, though, because we have some people now on this earth who say that they are the descendants of the Israelites, right? right. We've learned the first thing that the Israelites are black. Their skin color looks like this. So yes. now we're looking and we're seeing that the people who say that they have the life, they don't look like this. No. Yes, sir. Deuteronomy 28. Mm -hmm. Now, start at, start at one, read one and two. Yes, sir. And it shall come to pass. If thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. And all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Okay, so 
God has chosen Israel as his people. Yes. He has adopted them as his own. And he's given them the oracles, the lively oracles, right? Yes. And he said, if you keep and you do these oracles, all these blessings will come on to you. Yes. And he goes through, uh, blessed shall I be when I come in, I come out, I shall make you the head, and everything. And he gives a whole bunch of beautiful blessings that he's going to give to Israel if they keep his commandments, right? Yes, sir. All right. So if they keep the covenant that he gives them, you know. Yes. We'll do that, right? Okay. So let's get down to 15. Okay. Go ahead, read. Go ahead. Okay. But it shall come to pass, mm -hmm. if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Uh -huh. So all these curses shall come upon thee. Now, there's a whole bunch of them. I'm just going to go through a few. So go to 25. Yes, sir. The Lord shall cause thee to be smitten uh -huh. before thine enemies. Thou shalt go out one way against them and flee seven ways before them and shall be removed into all the kingdoms of the earth. You shall be removed into all the kingdoms of the earth. Mm -hmm. All right. So Israel, the Israelites are going to be removed into all of the kingdoms of the earth. That's important. Just keep that in the back of your mind. Go to verse 30. Okay. Thou shalt be trod a wife, and another man shall lie with her. Uh -huh. Thou shalt build a house, and thou shalt not dwell therein. Uh -huh. Thou shalt plant a vineyard, and shalt not gather the grapes thereof. So, these things are going to happen to Israel if they don't keep the covenant, right? Yes, sir. So you shall have a, a wife, but you another man shall take that line with her. You shall build a house, but you won't be able to dwell in it. You're going to grow food, but you're not going to be able to eat of it. Mm -hmm. Somebody else did it. Yeah. One thirty-two. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, uh -huh. and thine eyes shall look and fail with the longing for them all the day long, uh -huh. and there shall be no might in their hand, uh -huh. in thine hand. So your 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 children are going to go into slavery, and you're not going to be able to do anything about it, right? Yes. All right. 34. So that thou shalt be mad for the sight of thine eyes, uh -huh. which thou shalt see. Uh -huh. What you're going to see is going to make you crazy. You're going to see it happening right before your eyes, and you're not going to be able to do anything about it. It's going to drive you crazy. Yes. Yeah, yes. Right? Number 37. And thou shalt become an astonishment, uh -huh. a proverb, and a byword among all nations, whether the Lord shall lead uh -huh. So wherever the Lord scatters you, they're going to have a little pet name for you. Mm -hmm. They're going to call you something. Mm -hmm. Not who you are, but they're going to call you something else, right? Yes, right, sir. Right. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, go down 43. Yes, sir. The stranger that is within thee uh -huh. shall get up above thee very high, and thou shalt come down very low. So anybody who comes among you, they're going to be able to thrive and to, to, to be successful. And you're going to sit there watching them. You're going to be like, dang, hey, why are these people coming where we at? And they are thriving, and yet we've been here. Well, we are here, and we can't seem to get ahead. Okay, right? Okay. What is 46? And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. And so these things happening is going to be a sign. Yes. When you see these things happening to these people, it's going to be a sign that these people are the Israelites. Israelites. Yes, sir. Right? Mm -hmm. It's going to be for a sign. And for a wonder upon thy seed forever. Meaning when you see these things happening to these people, you know you saw Israel. Right. Yeah, right. Right. Teach, teach, right. Right. Oh, get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. 48. Yes, sir. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, uh -huh. which the Lord shall send against thee uh -huh. in hunger uh -huh. and in thirst, in thirst. and in nakedness uh -huh. and in want of all things. Yes, sir. You and don't he, want, you don't want. Yes. All these things that you see, but you're not going to be able to have them. Right? And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck uh -huh. until he until he have destroyed. Well, not just a spiritual yoke, but a physical yoke of iron around yeah. your neck. Yes, right? yes. 
Uh, skip on down to 64. Yes, sir. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people uh -huh. from the one end of the earth, one even the unto earth. the other. Unto the other, right? And there thou shalt serve other gods, uh -huh. which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, uh -huh. even wood and stone. Even wood and stone. You be going in the church and you see the wooden cross up there. They, people be bound yeah. down outside. And, you know, they be having the statues and they be bound yeah. to the statues right. and praying before them. Yeah. Even yeah. over there in Mecca, they go before them big stone. stone. Yeah, stone. Right here. Worship right. before right. Yep. We do that. Malcolm X did that. He showed they, they showed that in the movie. He went over there, mm -hmm. walking around the rock. You know, <laughs> he was doing something. <laughs> Where we at? Yeah. Sixty-six. Okay, good. And thy well, life. Just read three sixty-five. Just read okay. Oh, yes, sir. And among these nations shall thou find no ease. No ease. Uh huh. Neither shall the sole of thy foot have rest. Uh huh. So wherever he scatters Israel, they gonna be. They gonna be getting it. Yeah. From the time they wake up in the morning to the yes, time they sir. go to bed, they gonna be getting it. No rest. Right? Yes, sir. Go ahead. But the Lord shall give thee there a trembling heart uh -huh. and failing of eyes uh -huh. and sorrow of mind. Sorrow of mind, yes, sir. And thy life shall hang in doubt before thee. Yes, sir. And thou shalt fear day and night uh -huh. and shall have none assurance of thy life. Uh -huh. This is starting to sound. Like somebody I know. Yeah. <laughs> Start to sound like somebody I know. Yes, you shall fear. Right. Your life shall hang it down before thee day and night. Yes, yes sir. I don't know. So when I be leaving out the door sometimes, you know, I don't know whether I'm gonna make it back home. Right. 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 Yes, sir. All right. All right. Yes, sir. I pray for pray the Lord for protection. You know? right. Right. But man, this is starting to sound like Somebody, yes, somebody, <laughs> somebody familiar. <man. laughs> Keep reading, sir. And the Lord shall bring thee into no, no, no. Read, 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 read. That's okay. Come on. In the morning, thou shalt say, Would God it were evil? Uh, in the morning, I'm gonna say, Man, I wish it was nighttime. <laughs> uh -huh. And at even thou shalt say, would God if it were morning? Well, uh, nice time to be like, man, I can't wait till this morning. <laughs> <laughs> for the fear of thine heart, wherewith thou shalt fear, uh -huh. and for the sight of thine eyes, which thou shalt see. For the sight of your eyes, fear, and the sight of uh, the, the things that you shall see. Mm -hmm. I am, um, on Instagram, I'm, I'm on this uh, page called the Cleveland Remembrance page. Uh -huh. And every single day, yes, mm -hmm. it's a, a story about somebody getting killed. Right, every, right, day. Right. every single day. Yeah, I'm sorry, day. I, I, I might unsubscribe to it because I'm just tired of it. Yes, right, right, right. But it was Very the same important. thing in Chicago when right. I lived in Chicago. Yeah, that's the same thing everywhere where mm -hmm. we uh, live. Right. Wherever we are. Right. Yes, so this is starting to sound very familiar. Right. These mm -hmm. people, whoever these people are today, you know, just sound very familiar. Yes, sir. That's right. I mean, when you when you see all these things, you'll be able to pinpoint who is Israel. Oh. So sign. Yes, sir. He breathes. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So he shall bring you into Egypt again by ships. Mm -hmm. Wherever they were at, you couldn't go back. You I mean you wouldn't go back to into Egypt with ships. You no. walk over there. Yeah, right. 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 Yeah. So this Egypt has to be some type of spiritual place. That's right. But we read that earlier mm -hmm. when when we talked about when uh, Israel came out of Egypt and they had their hearts had turned back to Egypt, right? Their right. minds had turned right. back to Egypt, yeah. right? Yes, sir. So this is not talking about physical Egypt. This is talking about their minds are turned back. Yes. And what happened in Egypt? Mm -hmm. They were slaves, right? Right. right? You read. By the way, whereof I spake unto thee, uh -huh. thou shalt see it no more again. Yes, sir. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bond women, uh -huh. and no man shall buy you out. No, my, nobody's gonna get you out of this thing. Yes. Right? Yes. So whoever these people are, they're gonna go into slavery by ships. Mm -hmm. It's very specific. The book is very specific. It goes through. And we didn't read all of the curses, but if you go through and you read all these curses, they're very specific. Yeah, so that you will know who these people are, mm. right? Yes, sir. So we have these people in slavery, right? Yes, sir. So they went from 
from this to this. every other group that came as an immigrant 
somehow. He said it's every other group that came as an immigrant. Right. right. First, that's the first thing right there. Right. right. <laughs> yeah, that's people. Not easily, but somehow got around it. Is it just the fact that Negroes are black? White America must see that no other ethnic group has been a slave on American soil. White America has to see that no other ethnic group has been slavery on been a slavery on American soil. He Martin Luther King did that. Right. Right. So that blows away this whole they got this whole chart out here. These Israelites got a chart out here. And they say the Cubans are this tribe and uh, the Mexicans are this tribe and stuff like that. But these people didn't come here as the slaves and shit. Right. Right? Right. Yes, sir. No other ethnic group, even Martin Luther King knew that. Right. <laughs> but we got people today, Israelites today, who don't know that. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, that is one thing that other immigrant groups have had to face. The other thing is that the color okay. became a stigma. Became Americans a stigma. decided to make the Negroes color mm -hmm. a stigma. America freed the slaves in 19, I mean 1863, yes, the Emancipation Proclamation of Abraham Lincoln, but gave the slaves no land or nothing in reality, and as a matter of fact, uh -huh. to, to get started on it. Now, listen to what he says. When he starts saying what's happening the black folks, he's going to be saying the same stuff that we was reading just in Deuteronomy, right? Okay. right? Okay. Even though he don't know, he may not know, he, he don't know that he is Israel, but he knows what happened to his people, and right. it's the same thing that we just read about. Okay. Okay. Same time, America was giving away millions of acres of land in the West and the Midwest, which meant that there was a willingness to give the white peasants from Europe an economic base, and yet it refused to give its black peasants from Africa, who came here involuntarily in chains and had worked free for 244 years, any kind of economic base. And so emancipation for the Negro emancipation was really freedom to hunger, freedom, to, freedom yes. uh, to the winds and the rains of heaven, it was freedom without food to eat or land to cultivate, and that was freedom of okay. freedom at the same time. The same and when time. white Americans tell the Negro to lift himself by his own bootstraps, yes. they, don't hold, they don't look over the legacy of slavery and segregation. I believe we ought to do all we can Yes. And seek to lift ourselves by our own bootstrap. Uh -huh. uh, it's a cruel jest to say to a bootless man that he ought to lift himself by his own bootstrap. <laughs> Many people, out of thousands of years, have been left right. bootless as a result of all of these years of oppression uh -huh. and as a result of a society that deliberately made its color a stigma and That's something wow. worthless and degrading. Hey! Hey! He was just saying everything that we was reading about right. at Deuteronomy. Yes, wow. that, 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 that the Negroes' emancipation was freedom for hunger, mm. freedom to thirst, freedom to uh, with no land. Yeah. Right? right. Yeah. Same thing that we just read about. Right. Even he knew that stuff. Right. And he didn't even know. Right. 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 That was just something that struck me when I saw this the other video because they always show his speeches about he had a dream and everybody being together, but they don't show when he's you know talking about black is beautiful and all this stuff. They never right. show those, those right, videos, right, 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 right. So let's go over to Isaiah 42. He's ain't gonna be long, and we're gonna be done. Take your time, man. Peace is word, right? Yeah. Take your time. Isaiah 42. We're gonna start at 19. Yes, sir. 42 and 19. Go ahead. Who is blind but my servant? Now, who is his Lord's servant? Israel. Israel. The only people who he have known. Who is blind but his servant, right? Go yes, ahead. Sir. Or deaf. As my messenger that I sent. Yes, sir. Who is blind is he that is perfect. Uh -huh. And blind is the Lord's servant. Right. Skip down to 22. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. Uh -huh. 
They are all of them snared in holes. Snared in holes, uh huh. And they are hid in prison houses. They are hid in prison houses. Who, who populates the prisons? Oh. Who is overrepresented, overrepresented in the prison population Israel. and underrepresented in everything else? Good. Israel. Uh huh. They are for a prey, they for a prey. and none delivered. Uh huh. For a spoil and none saith restore. None saith restore. We the only one that's calling for reparations or stuff like right. that. Everybody's right. like, that, that was a long time ago, but yet they've given reparations to, to so many yes. other yes. nations. Yes. Nation, nation, you, you know? Yes, sir. But we the people who have served here for hundreds of years for free mm -hmm. can't get that. That's right. They promised us something when we received our slave, when we, when we were. Uh, freed from slavery, then we didn't get that. And then they made a whole bunch of laws to to get us, put us back in slavery, in jails and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Because jail, because slavery was abolished except for in jail. So then they made all these vagrancy laws and stuff like that. Right, they, right. They say, hey, if you're standing out here, if you ain't got a job, you got to go to jail. That's it. Yes. They put us in prison and they made us slaves again. Right, right. right. Wow. Where we at? 23. 23, go ahead. Who among you will give ear who, to this? Who, who will listen to this? <laughs> who will hearken and hear for the time to come? Uh -huh. Who gave Jacob for a spoil? Now, who did this to us? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Go ahead. And Israel to the robbers. Uh -huh. Did not the Lord? Yes, sir. We just read in Deuteronomy yes. 28. He said, if you will not keep his commandments and do what you say he was going to do, I'm going to do all this stuff to you. Yes, sir. Right. So when we go out and we blame white folks, mm -hmm. I mean, they don't get dealt with because they first yes, are affliction. Yes, but they are. Okay. Just like us. What I'm saying is the Lord did this to you. Yes, and right. only the Lord can get you out of this. We've tried everything. Yes, yeah. We've marched. <laughs> we legislated. We voted. Right. We right. tried armed rebellion. Right. We've right. tried everything. Everything. Right. 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 And nothing seems to to, yeah, to, to help our situation. Right. 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 Say on, man. Yes, sir. And that's because the Lord put us in a situation. Lord, yeah, yeah, yeah. Only the Lord can get us out of this situation. Right, right. 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 And not the Lord, he against whom we have sinned, mm -hmm. for they would not walk in his ways. Yes, sir. Neither were they obedient unto his law. We were not obedient unto his law. That's and right. so we had to pay the price. Yes, sir. Right. We are paying the price right now. Yeah. But now we know who okay. we are. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. And now we know what we have to do to get out of this thing. Yes, right. And that is to turn back to the Lord. That's right. keep his commandments, his statutes. That's right. 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 Yes, sir. Right. 25. 25? Okay. Yes, sir. Therefore, he had poured upon him the fury of his anger yes, and the strength of battle. Uh -huh. And it has sent him on fire round about. Yes, sir. Yet he knew not. Uh -huh. And it burned him. Yet he had Yet he laid it not to heart. And we are on fire. <laughs> we on fire. Wherever we at, we on fire. That's right. And not in the good way. That's right. <laughs> not in the good way. For fire, for fire. <laughs> Wait. Yeah. Let's go to Isaiah 51. Yes, sir. Isaiah 51. We're going to start at 17. Mm -hmm. Isaiah 51 and 17, go ahead. Awake, awake, stand up, O Jerusalem, mm -hmm. which has drunk at the hand of the Lord, uh -huh. the cup of his fury. Yes, we have. Thou we, has, we have. We have not kept his commandments. Yes, sir. And he gave us a little cup of his fury. Uh -huh. And we was like, oh, thanks. <laughs> Set it back. <laughs> and now we on fire. That's yes, right. Go ahead. Thou has drunken the dregs of the cup of trembling uh -huh. and wronged them out. Yes, sir. There is none to guide her among all the sons whom she have brought forth. There wasn't, but now there is. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Neither is there any that taketh her by the hand of all the sons that she have brought up. Yes, sir. These two things are come unto thee. Who shall be sorrow, sorry for thee? Nobody is sorry for us. No. Nope. Everyone sees the predicament that we are in here. Right. And yes. nobody feels okay. for us. Mm -hmm. right? Desolation. We, 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 get, we get legislation for, for other 
nationalities, you know, uh, hate crimes for other nationalities right, before, yeah, exactly. before we could even get something for us. And we right. did it. Right. Good. <laughs> Desolation and destruction uh -huh. and the famine and the sword. Yes, By whom shall I comfort thee? Uh -huh. Thy sons have fainted. They lie at the hand of all the streets. Uh -huh. Who's on the corner? That's right. Right. Who's on the corner? That's right. Right. That's right. That's right. We at the head of the street. Right. As a wild bull uh -huh. in a net. A wild bull in a net. Uh -huh. They are full of the fury of the Lord. Uh -huh. The rebuke of thy God. Uh -huh. They mad too. Yeah. Yes, they out here in the streets, they mad mm -hmm. and they kill it. Yes, sir. They, they don't know why they bad though. Man. Mm -hmm. they, don't no. know, they don't know why. Yes, sir. Period. Go ahead, Therefore, hear now this: Thou afflicted oh. and drunken, oh. but not with wine. Yes, sir. We are afflicted and drunken, but not with wine. It's a spiritual drunkenness. Yes, sir. It's a mental yes. drunkenness that we right. are mm -hmm. in right now. Yes, sir. Let's go over to Zechariah eleven. Zechariah 11, and we're going to read 4 and 5. Yes, Zechariah 11, and 4 and 5. Go ahead. Thus saith the Lord, my God, uh -huh. feed the flock of the slaughter. The flock of the slaughter. That's what the Lord calls us. The flock of the slaughter. Wow. Everywhere we are, we are picked off and we are prey. Right. Doesn't matter where in the world we are. Right. Go ahead. Whose possessors slay them. Whose Masters who slave masters killed them, right? Yeah. Uh huh. And hold themselves not guilty. They hold themselves not guilty, even to this day. Yes, sir. Yeah. Right. Go ahead. And they that sell them uh -huh. say, "Bless be the Lord, uh -huh. for I am rich." <laughs> I am rich. <laughs> and their old shepherds pity them not. And their old shepherds pity them not. Our own people that pastors that yes. are in a pulpit. Are teaching these prosperity yes. stuff. They're teaching all of this stuff. They even have preachers that are teaching that we should not keep the commandments. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That if we want to be with God, we should not have anything to do with the commandments. Oh, right. It's just terrible. The yes, ones right. who are teaching us don't know what they're teaching. Don't know what they're teaching. And they teach it for That's right. filthy loop That's, That's right. right. Yes, right. Yes, sir. We, uh, we had a Bible trip with. Bible trivia night uh, last Saturday, and uh, it was pretty cool. We had fun and stuff like that. Yes, we did. But uh, we watched the movie uh, Emancipation, Emancipation. 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 Uh -huh. and yes. it was about okay. the, the, the Haitian guy who, who was a slave, and uh, he he got free, and then he went back to free his, his wife and his family. Yes. yes, but it's the famous picture of the like, black guy with the with the back, right? Yeah. And they didn't just do that to him. They did it to the women. They did yeah. it to the children. They did yeah. it to the old, to the young, you know? Yeah. You know, I could be mad at the Gentiles for the treatment, but but ultimately, the Lord is going to be the one who's going to recompense them. I can tell right. own books. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Zachariah 1 and 15 says he was displeased with them, you know, a little, a little bit. bit. They right. forwarded the affliction. They went overboard, man. Yeah. That, boy, that, that picture proves it, you yeah. know what I mean? That was just the first picture that they got of it. But they had been doing it for hundreds of years before, they, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. But I used to be mad at the injustices, you know, until I learned why we were going through the, what we were going through. Yes, right? yes. Right. And with that, when I learned that, I, I don't want to say that I became less mad, but my, my anger became more directed you know, to to us mm -hmm. and to the people who are teaching us. Yes, yeah. yes, sir. Right. And so we have a job. That's right, yes, sir. Come on. We here. are the only people who the Lord has known. He yeah. said we would be a royal priesthood. Right. Right. We even listened to the song. Right. Earlier. Right. Right. We are a nation of priests. That's right. We are supposed to bring the rest of the sons of Adam. The rest of the sons and daughters yeah, are right back to the Lord. Yes, we right. are supposed to reconcile them. Yes. They are supposed to become right. part of the commonwealth of Israel. Right. We got a job to do. Yes. No matter what's going on. That's right. No matter what's going no on, what. we got a job to do. Yes, sir. Right. Right. But we're going to do it. Right? That's right. Right. Even though he's chastising us, 
we are to teach the sons and daughters of Adams and yes. the nations and the nations what they're supposed to do. Thus says the Lord. Right? Right. 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 Jeremiah had commissions to sin, mm -hmm. and then he got discouraged and was like, I ain't gonna do that. Yes. Right? But then the Lord whipped them and, and sent them on. Right? Yes. <laughs> Jonah. Same thing with Jonah. Jonah. Right. Yes. Gave him a message, and then Jonah didn't want to do it, and he whipped him. And Jonah went and did. Yeah. Yeah. Back and did. So it is with us. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Yes, sir. We got a message. That's right. A Lord's salvation. Yeah. And he whipped us. He's actually in the middle of whipping us right now. That's right. That's so we got a job to do. That's right. That is to reconcile the rest of the world and bring everybody back to yeah, that's right. Right. And that's what we're going to do. Go out. Right. Right. Yes, sir. So let's go to Romans 11. Yes. We got three more places after this. Romans 11. We're going to start in verse 1. Yes, sir. Now, we already read this earlier. We're going to read it again, though. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. I say then, have God cast away his people? He has not. Right. God forbid. God forbid. Mm -hmm. For I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham, mm -hmm. of the tribe of Benjamin. Yes, sir. God have not cast away his people, he has not. which he foreknew. Mm -hmm. What ye not, what the scripture saith of Elias? How he maketh intercession to God against Israel, saying, yes, sir. Lord, they have killed thy prophets uh -huh. and dig down their altars. Yes. And I am left yes. alone, and they seek my life. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. He thought he was alone. Mm -hmm. But what? what saith the answer of God unto him? Uh -huh. I have reserved to me 7,000 men who have not bowed the knee to the image of Baal. Uh -huh. Even so then, at this present time uh -huh. also, there uh -huh. is a remnant according to the election of grace. Uh -huh. Even so, at this present time that we are in now, yes. there is a remnant according to the election of grace, and that is us. That's us. Right. Right. Yes, sir. We have a job to do. Yes, sir. We can't slack. Let's go over to First Peter, yes, chapter sir. 2. Yes, sir. First Peter chapter 2. We're going to start at verse 1. First Peter chapter 2 and verse 1. Go ahead, read. Where, wherefore, laying aside all malice uh -huh. and all guile uh -huh. and hypocrisies <laughs> and envies and all evil speakings. Now, I'm still working on that myself. <laughs> wrong with yeah. that? I'm laying aside malice. Get out right. stuff like that. Mm -hmm. and hypocrisies, I'm trying to do that. Envies. <laughs> envies, I've already got rid of that. Because, ooh, I got to be envious of. Lord, we we chose them. You know what yes. I mean? Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. They should be envious of us. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's right. Keep on reading. As newborn babes uh -huh. desire the sincere milk of the word. That ye may grow thereby. Yes, if so be ye have tasted that the Lord is gracious, uh -huh. to whom coming as unto a living stone, disallowed indeed of men, but chosen of God and precious. Chosen of God and precious. That's who Israel is, and that's yes. why everybody should know who we are. Yes, sir. You know right. mm -hmm. Keep on reading. He also as lively stones uh -huh. are built up a spiritual house uh -huh. and holy priesthood. A holy priesthood. That is what we are. A holy priesthood. A holy priesthood. Priesthood. That's all right. We got it. Got it. Brothers and sisters. That's right. Holy priesthood. Go ahead. That's right. To offer up spiritual sacrifices uh -huh. acceptable to God by Jesus Christ. Uh, let's get down and out. But ye are a chosen generation. A chosen generation. Yes, sir. A royal priesthood. Uh -huh. A holy nation. Uh -huh. A peculiar people. A peculiar. That ye should show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. That's Say it right. Really, no. That's that brother. That's brother. And he called us yes. Say it right. out of darkness. Into the marvelous light. Right, yes. Yes, sir. Do you know who you are? Yes. Royalty. Which in time past were not a people, but are now the people of God. Uh -huh. 
Which is worse not we were with people. people. Worse we were to people. people. But now, now we, we are, are a people. people. Do you know who you are? Yes, sir. Loyalty. This is where he got the lyrics from the song. Right. Okay. 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 Which had not obtained mercy, uh -huh. but now have obtained mercy. But now have uh -huh. obtained mercy. Yes, right. sir. Yes, sir. Dearly beloved, I beseech you as strangers and pilgrims, abstain from fleshly lusts, which war against the soul, uh -huh. having your conversation honest among the Gentiles, uh -huh. that whereas they speak against you as evil doers, and they do speak against us yeah. as evil doers, right? Uh -huh. They made by your good works, but, but which us keeping God's commandments and yes. His word and teaching others to do so, uh -huh. yes, uh -huh. which they shall behold, uh -huh. glorify God in the day of visitation. So it is up to us to show forth God's goodness, God's glory, yes. so that the other nations see this, yes, and come unto the Lord. That's right. right? Sir. You yes, don't want to lose any of them. Yes, sir. you know. That's our job. That's our job. That's our That's job. Right. We're still on the job. That's right. Let's go over to Second Peter. We're gonna read one verse there. Verse nine. Yes, sir. Second Peter, Peter uh, chapter three. Chapter three, verse nine. Verse nine. Go ahead, read. The Lord is not slack concerning His promise. Now. We we always have somebody who said, well, you know, they say the Lord's coming back, you know, but it, it's been a long time. He ain't coming. He ain't, you know, he ain't coming. But the Lord is not slack concerning his promise, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And some men count slack as we count slackness, right? Because mm -hmm. one day to the Lord is as what? A thousand, a thousand years, years yeah. right? That's right. So his time is different than our time. Yes, right? sir. As a matter of fact, he lives outside of time. Right. Right? That's right. Time ain't nothing right. to him. Right. It's a something to us. Right. So we count it as slackness. Yeah. But okay. it's not right. slackness. That's right? Sure. And why is that? Why is it not slackness? But it is long suffering. Long suffering. To us were. To us were. Not he's giving, really. He's giving us yes. a chance to get ourselves together. Okay. It's the reason why we it's taking such a long time. That's because right. we have to get ourselves together. He has to get it priest together before he can get the rest yes, of the yes, okay, yes, right? Sir. Right. yes sir but it's not slackness he's giving us a chance, chance. to get it to get right. 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 that's right so don't think you know well it's taking too long you know i'm just going through mm -hmm. it's not that mm -hmm. it's just his time is reckoned different than our time mm -hmm. and that he's giving us a chance <laughs> to get ourselves together yes right? mm -hmm. Go ahead, Reed. Not willing that any should perish. That any should perish, right? <laughs> but that all should come to repentance. That all should come to repentance, and it's our job to help that happen. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. Let's go to the last place. It's Isaiah 56. Isaiah 56. Isaiah 56, and we're going to start at verse 1. Isaiah 56 and 1. Go ahead. Thus saith the Lord, uh -huh. keep ye judgment keep and do justice. Uh -huh. Keep ye judgment and do judgment, Israel. Uh -huh. For my salvation is near to come. It is near to come. He's not slack with his coming. That's no. right. And my righteousness to be revealed. Yes, sir. Blessed is the man that doeth this, uh -huh. and the son of man that layeth hold on it. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. That keepeth the Sabbath hey. from polluting it, right? And keepeth his hand from doing any evil. Uh -huh. That's what we're doing right here. We're keeping the Sabbath, it's right? Start. right? It's a start. That's right. It's a start. If you ain't doing nothing else, you know. That's right. Okay. Go ahead, read. Neither let the son of the stranger that have joined himself to the Lord speak, saying, The Lord hath utterly separated me from his people. Uh -huh. Neither let the eunuch say, Behold, I am a dry tree. So there is to be no other nation or nationality that comes to, to us for the truth uh -huh. that we should turn away. Right. Yes. Say it. There should be no one that comes to us that we should alienate. That we should, that we should treat any different than we treat our brother. Right. If they right. take hold of this covenant and they do the things that the Lord right. Right. gave us to do, That's right. then they are one of us. Yes, sir. But thus saith the Lord uh -huh. unto the eunuchs, 
that keep Sabbaths uh -huh. and choose the things that please me. Uh -huh. They choose the things that please them, right? Mm -hmm. right. So they are counted as one of us. Right. Right. Yes, sir. And take hold of my covenant. Yes, sir. Even unto them will I give in my house uh -huh. and within my walls uh -huh. a place and a name better than of the sons and of the daughters. So, y'all better watch out. Yes, sir. Right. If you call in for these people uh, to be separate from us and you causing these people not to, to, to be joined unto the Lord, right. he's going to give them a place. He's going to get them your place. Yes, right. Whoa. Your place. Uh oh. That's right. Right? That's what he said. Keep reading. I will give them an everlasting name. Yes, sir. That shall not be cut off. Uh -huh. it's just, that's going to be your name. All the, also, the sons of the stranger uh -huh. that join themselves to the Lord yes, sir. to serve him and to love the name of the Lord, to be his servants, uh -huh. everyone that keepeth the Sabbath from polluting it uh -huh. and taketh hold of my covenant. Uh -huh. So even the sons and daughters of the strangers who that's come. Right. Seeking the Lord, and they come to us, and they be like, "We want to know what to do." Yes, we teach them what to do, mm -hmm. right? That's it. That's right. If they want to keep the Sabbath, we tell you, we teach them how to keep the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. If they want us to keep the dietary law, we teach them how to do it. Yes, right? sir. Mm -hmm. We don't turn anybody away because no, we were strangers once. That's, That's right. We were. Yes, keep sir. Reading. Even them will I bring to my holy mountain uh -huh. and make them joyful in my house of prayer. Now, this is the Lord saying this. That's right. This is the Lord saying he's going to bring them. He's going to teach them and he's going to bring them to his holy mountain. Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. Keep on reading. And their burnt offerings and their sacrifices shall be accepted uh -huh. upon my altar. Yes, sir. They're, what they do is going to be accepted by the Lord. If they doing what the Lord, what thus say the Lord. That's right. Uh-huh. For my house shall be called a house of prayer for all people. A house of prayer for Israel. No, all, all people. people. For all people. All right. Actually, Israel is the right answer because once they become part of the commonwealth of Israel, yeah, you're right. they are Israel. Right. 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 They are Israel. Yes, sir. So that's it. The, the name of this lesson was Who is Israel and why is it important to know? Yes, sir. You yes, first sir. learned why was it important to know who Israel is is because. They are the apple of the Lord's eye. Yes, sir. Gave them everything, and they were to disseminate this information to the rest of the people. Then we learn who Israel is. It's yes. not the people who say that they're Israel, right? Oh. Now. Yes. Israel has been hidden for too long, yes. and now yes. we are awake, yes. and we got a job to do, brothers and sisters, so let's do it. Yes, sir. Hey! <laughs> Awesome lesson, brother. Yes, awesome sir. lesson. Yes, we just want to thank everybody Son. for coming out and hearing this right here. Yes, this lesson sir. right here. Uh, I'll bring it out here.